वेलकम टू आर चैनल व्यूअर्स सो दिस विल बी शॉर्ट एंड क्विक वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू एंड वेन टू रिमूव दी फीडिंग नोस मी सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड वीडियो ऑन डिमोस्ट्रेटिंग ऑल दी क्रिटिकल स्टेप ऑफ फीडिंग नोस मी एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो टू आर चैनल और आई विल शेयर द लिंक इन दिस वीडियो एंड यू कैन गो थ्रू द स्टेप्स ऑफ फीडिंग नोस मी दैट इज मॉडिफाइड फीडिंग नोस मी सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी I mean, uh, stress upon highlighted this fact that we should always use smaller size tube, like 10 or 12 French rice tube, like 12 French in this video, and uh, the previous one also we have used 10 or 12 French uh, rice tube, and never ever use the uh, Foley's catheter. In the previous video, I have already uh, demonstrated uh, the difference between Foley's and uh, feeding nose me. So please go through that video to have better understanding of the this video. So friends, uh, the protocol in our hospital is that we wait at least six weeks after the index operation before uh, taking out this tube. Uh, the rationale behind that uh, period is that by the time that tunnel will mature, that the, and the subcerebral tunnel that we have created, when we uh, pull out the feeding nose will collapse, and there will be no regurgitation of the intestinal content, uh, leading to any peritonitis or other complications. so coming to the this index case this was a major pancreatic resection so we have called the patient for follow up uh, and uh, we uh, uh, schedule our follow up around 6 weeks so uh, patient came and uh, we are now planning to remove the feeding nose me there is no investigation or no contrast study required before the removal of this feeding nose me we usually advise the patient uh to not to have any meal at least uh, for 2 3 hours before the procedure that is before removal of tube we ask the patient to uh, stay uh, take liquids only and uh, for 3 hours before removal and 3 hours after the removal of feeding anostomy tube so now uh, we are cleaning the feeding anostomy site and the skin around the feeding anostomy with the help of uh, Uh, Covidon IOD. Consider it as a, I mean, a major procedure. Uh, take all necessary precautions, and uh, under under all aseptic condition, we should do the procedure. So, uh, friends, the basically uh, the aim or the main intent behind creating this channel was to have one uh, common platform uh, for all the uh, major and minor surgery. related videos and uh, we are uh, hopefully we are able to meet our uh, aim and uh, we are thankful our thankful to our viewers for all the love and support we are uh, receiving so after removing the uh, retaining sutures with the help of uh, uh, i mean to and fro uh, movement we will remove the feeding nose mute tube so we should not apply any undue traction undue pressure and just uh, rotatory and uh, this uh, to and fro movement this tube will easily come out and now uh, clean the uh, entry site with the povidone iodine and uh, we will pack this site and as i said before also uh, that we will uh, keep the patient under observation for 3 uh, uh, hours minimum and uh, usually these uh, procedures go uh, uneventful and uh, we have not faced any difficulty and uh, please keep in mind the thing that we should always use smaller size smaller lumen uh, tubes and uh, they are uh, good in our, in our experience and uh, please never ever use follies for feeding genosome And we are planning to upload another video on feeding genostomy technique that will be modified virtual feeding genostomy in difficult situation like distended gut uh, shortly so please don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for all the future updates so thanks for watching viewers so uh, please uh, do like Uh, the video and subscribe to our channel and share the content with your friends happy learning thank you very much